Okay, so I decided to record a short video because I just saw of it. While I was playing Unturned, and I was thinking of the durability of weapons and like how later on you'll need parts to fix them, which I'm gonna assume it's gonna be things like barrels, uh, recoil springs, firing pins, you know, that kind of stuff. And I had thinking, and I. I got thinking like, what if you could take apart guns, and like, depending on what they are, depends on what you get. Like, maybe with a pistol, you get a slide, or you'll get like a barrel and stuff like that. You get like a pistol recoil spring or pistol firing pin, stuff like that. And then I got to thinking, what if this durability system is obsolete? Like, what I mean is, this is basically like, I fire the gun, it loses 1% durability per shot. So basically, I got 100 shots till it's zero durability. It doesn't mean it's destroyed, but it just means it's pretty crap. But what if, instead of this, it has a chance of breaking certain parts? Like, the more you fire it, the lower the durability gets. And as the durability gets lower, there's a chance certain parts of it will break. Like, let's say at, I don't know, 70% durability, a piece of it could break. In this term, a pistol. Like, let's say the slide ejector breaks. So there's something wrong with the slide ejector. That could be really easy to fix. But as we go further and further down the line of it getting damaged, let's say around 50% durability, in terms of pistol, there's a chance the firing pin will break. That would be a lot harder to fix, because you actually have to find the firing pin. And let's keep going, say, like, you get to 0% durability and, like, the entire slide breaks. This means you're going to have to have a whole new slide. So for this, like, certain things can break at certain durabilities. The lower the durability, like, the lower the durability is, the higher the chance something major will break. At 100%, there's a big chance nothing's going to happen. But the further, the longer you use the weapon without repair, the more pieces it takes to fix it. Like, let's say I have a pistol, I fire it a couple of times for killing zombies, or maybe I get into a one gun fight. It's slightly worn. It's at like 90% durability. I could fix it with like one scrap metal or one sheet metal or just a miscellaneous item that's really easy to find. If I'm like, nah, I can go without finding the necessary items to repair it. I keep going and it gets more and more expensive. I'm at 80% and now it takes two scrap metal to fix and then it keeps getting more and more expensive until something breaks and then I'm pretty, I'm pretty much up shit creek right there. And I think maybe there should be a part where certain things just literally break and cannot be repaired, they're just destroyed. Like let's say I have a hockey stick. I'm using it as a melee weapon. It gets down to, I guess, 0% durability, and I didn't bother to repair it, and it breaks in half, and I can't use it anymore. Maybe that. That would, I think that would be neat, because, I mean, in real, in real life, if I was using a hockey stick to kill zombies, it'd probably break pretty quickly. I mean, they aren't exactly tough. I mean, they're not weak. It's not like you're using a stick off a tree, but they aren't very, very strong. So, in terms of a gun, parts of it can break, and I think what would be a good idea, since there's a difficulty, you can play on normal or meat or hard, want to have it where there are different calibers in hard. Like, there's 9mm, there's 10mm auto, there's 45 ACP, there's 44 Magnum, there is 0.50 AP, 0.50 incendiary, so on and so on. Like, there's 9mm firing pins, there's 44 firing pins, like, all of that. Like, why not do that? Why not set it where, in hard, you have to find the calibers? And also... I would like to see a new gold server option added. Normal gold and hard gold. Because I would like to play on gold and still be able to deal with everything in hard mode. I've been wanting this like back in 2.0, but I never thought to mention it. But why not have hard gold? It's basically the same thing as hard, 
except with the increased loot spawn of gold. And like I'm pretty sure on hard, like there's the extra difficulty. I think more stuff spawns in return. I don't know. Like I never really played hard that often. But either way, I think that'd be a neat addition, along with the different calibers, like different caliber ammo. Like they were, you weren't really even need to add anything to the game. Like you could just reuse the same models and just rename them and change their code a bit. Like give each gun its own caliber. Like of course not every gun would be unique. Some guys would use the same calibers, which would make them a good thing. But like I imagine there'd be stuff like a like a pump action shotgun would have its own unique like mechanism in it, so you would need stuff like that. Then there's a break action shotgun, there's bolt action rifles, there's double action, single action revolvers, which I don't know if that would be a thing. But that's something I would like to see, though, is a, a single action revolver. How would it work? Um, I don't know, like, you fire it once, you have to hit F, or whatever your interact button is, and then you pull the hammer back, and you get another shot. What should be the event of this? A much higher power. Like, as far as I know, uh, single action revolvers are extremely powerful. But I'd like to see that, because there's already a double action revolver in the game. I'd also like to see a break action shotgun. Because, I mean, I would like that. I would like to carry around a break action shotgun. Have a, a double barrel break action 12 gauge be like, yeah, why not? That'd be nice. Um, also, I think machine guns would have like their own mechanism and such. But like, just in general, there'd be recoil springs, firing pins, and stuff along that matter that would break over time. And like, I mean, maybe you could hear like the gun clicks or you hear something break in it and you're like, I have to fix this now, and it, like, that little durability triangle it shows in the inventory, it should be black, like, pure black, show, like, it's broken, you can't use it, like, you can still equip it, but that gun can't fire, but currently, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a test, I'm gonna assume that's what it is, the current way the durability system is set, it's about every 10 shots, I think it's about 1% durability you lose. I'm not sure. I think I fired a full magazine from the PKM. And it pretty much just destroyed the gun. Like, it was in the orange after a full magazine. Same for, like, the dragon, dragon fang. I had to look at the screen, actually. But currently, the machine guns are pretty useless, in my opinion. Now... I always talk to this, the own, the creator of it as well, and he said you need a bipod. And I got to think about it, like uh, shoulder firing a LMG is not the easiest thing in the world to do. I've never done it, but I know it's not easy. But I think their recoil is a little too much. Like three shots, rapid fire, and I already have to pick my mouse up, move it up, and then pull back down to get it to where it originally was. Like, the recoil is very, very high. It is ridiculously high. And if the bipods reduce recoil that much, they're going to be very overpowered. I mean, they're going to pretty much be... They seem like they're going to be aimbot OP. Like, you could put a bipod on a LMG, put it down, and it'll have, like, dead-on accuracy. It's like basically that's how I feel LMGs are gonna be. They're gonna be overpowered or they're gonna be way underpowered. I just don't think there's gonna be a middle ground with the current way the recoil works with them. But that's my idea, mostly just fixing the durability system and with guns to be like you need certain parts to fix them at some point. Just an idea. I think it's pretty neat, but I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever I make.